Future with Michael J. Fox. Two reunions. Two reunions, and Back to the Future and also in, in the Michael J. Fox. I mean, it's been, it's been City and also the Michael J. Fox show. That's How right. It's it's a fabulous reunion. <laughs> we enjoy yeah. yeah, we we enjoy so much working together. It's, it's, it's a great thing to come back and work together again, even though it's different material. It, it's uh, it's a reunion. It's wonderful. Eh, 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 bueno, el verano norteamericano eh, se está estrenando este fin de semana, se estrenó eh, un millón de formas de morir en el oeste, eh, y do donde Christopher Lloyd vuelve a hacer el papel del doctor Emmett Brown, tiene un cameo dentro de la película. Eh, ahí me gustaría que nos contara un poco sobre... Uh, they just want to, if you want to talk about your cameo and reprising the role of Dr. Emmett Brown in One Million Ways. Well, uh, they, they, I got a call uh, from Seth McFarland. And, uh, and, and he said he had this, you know, we, we, sh we shot the whole uh, bit in, in like a couple of hours. Uh -huh. right? <laughs> El director de la película llamó a él y dijo, uh, quiero que tú haces esto, un cameo para mí, por favor. Y hicieron todo en uh, como tres horas. I, I think we went to New Mexico, the state of New Mexico. Somewhere uh, in Mexico. Not the right camp, but the, you know, God doesn't die. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to That, that there's a rumor that you're in Sin City too. What, uh, what's that about? That, that, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll 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 Uh, that, that as a director um, who loved Back to the Future, he's always been waiting for Back to the Future 4. I don't know. I, I, um, I, I, don't, I haven't heard any solid information that that's actually going to happen. Bueno. But no. we, have, uh, we, we are doing that um, animated series, uh -huh. uh, and that's kind of like a Back to the Future 4 in a, in a way, but I, I don't think it's going to be enough. Yo, yo como fanático de, de la saga, eh, el año pasado estrené una película donde los protagonistas, eh, uno de los protagonistas se está muriendo y su último deseo es que estén en el tiempo. That's that he made a movie last year, um, because he's been waiting for Back to the Future 4 for so long, he made a movie last year uh, called uh, Worst Friends Forever, in which one of the characters is, is dying, and his, his own life, dying wish is to travel through time. Y bueno, te queríamos mostrar un pedazo de so Volver al Futuro 4, la versión chilena. So the first <laughs>
máquina del tiempo. Espérate. <risa> ¿Ya? Uno, dos, tres. Hola. El Chiloria. <risa> Y ahora vamos a acelerar 88 millas por hora para ahí, mil años al futuro. Qué pobre. Ok, cierra los ojos. ¿Por, por, por qué sí? Por eso.
ahí. Hola, hola, Christopher. Eh, primero que nada, al igual que Nicolás, tuve que disculpa por la entrevista que hicieron acá. Y para que no me que todo lo que se somos como Juno you know, Playboy. Yes, for Juno you know, Playboy. Eh, y la pregunta es: eh, si realmente pudieras viajar en el tiempo, ¿qué hecho histórico cambiarías? ¿Por qué? ¡Bravo! What would you change and why? What would I change? Um, well, I, I, you know, to, to be serious about it, I guess find a way to feed, to feed all people on the planet. Buscar una manera para dar comida a todo el mundo. Bravo! Bravo! I think someday there has to be a limit on population growth because there's just not enough water. Soil and air to, to feed everybody. And also, there's got to be some kind of climate control because, you know, the ice and the ice caps are melting. And que, que un día, si vamos a tener un límite en la población que este mundo puede, puede soportar. Uh, y, y con el cambio de la cri en el clima y todo eso, que, que, que tenemos? Entonces, así tenemos que, que tomar eso en serio. Uh, keep Keep the politicians out of politics. Yeah. <laughs> and let me run the country. <laughs> <laughs> Y que muchas veces Robert Julia, que estaban eh, preparando una toma, 
se, se ponía a cantar y así transformaba todo en un set eh, mágico, que fue una experiencia increíble. Primero, a nombre de un chileno más, de todos los chilenos, agradecerle la posibilidad a Christopher Lloyd, darnos la posibilidad de soñar, porque en realidad su personaje nos permitió a todos creer que podemos cumplir sueños, y eso fue muy, muy potente, y por eso yo creo que hay tanta gente el día de hoy acá presente. Why do you think that there are so many people here uh, even today? I, I think so. Um, I mean, everybody sometime in their lives thinks about time travel. They think about, gee, what would it be like to be 100 years in the future? Uh, or, or, or what would it be like to go back to history, uh, say to the Roman times, or sometime and see what it was like to spend 